So, uh, could I ask you guys what time period you're from? Um, 1812. Awesome. Uh, could you run me through your outfits? I see you're really dressed up today. Well, yeah, I have a top hat, and it's a beaver top hat. And, of course, this is what made Canada. Uh, when they were coming, when the explorers would come over and uh, the Hudson Bay Company, this is what they sold back to Europe, um, the, the beaver cap. So this is a real beaver hat. And uh, we have, I have a boots and for riding horses, of course. So uh, that was a way of getting around. And I have uh, knickers or, and uh, a vest. And a, uh, and a cravat. And so, is Harrison's dressed pr probably the same way I am. Yeah. Awesome. Now I see you've got a tankard on the stool there. What's yes. that made out of? That's made out of leather. And this is very appropriate to this time period. Okay. And they put everything, they could put hot, cold, whatever into it. Uh, down at the tavern, at the tankard. Well, that's where we take our. Uh, uh, our stuff down there and we fill it up with uh, booze and be on our way. Fantastic. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about what you're selling here? Yeah, yeah go ahead. So, um, this is a sword. We make them and and then these are the daggers. We also make them and we paint them. And then um, these are braces. So it's a game and you need Two people to play, and you are two or more to play. Um, they'll show you. So you need one brace. Then every person has two of these. Okay. Then you. Okay. Oh, oh no, I didn't get it that time. Oh. And you, usually it was a popular with girls, and it was called the game of graces because. They throw and catch, and it, in order to be very graceful with doing it, they're much more graceful than I am. <laughs> no. And so we need to be a little further apart, and then yeah, yeah, catch it like that, catch it anyway, and then they would go back and forth and get further apart as they went along. And so that's very popular, we, even today, with girls, too. So to use them, you have to do this, have to twist it, and you just keep doing this. Well, that's a very old toy. Yeah. Would that be around in 1812? Oh yes, definitely. Before 1812. This is a, this is a topsy-turvy doll. So what it does is if you turn it upside down, it is a new doll. And then you have two dolls. Awesome. So these are the toy cannon. And yeah, you just can move them around on the table. Or yeah. So who wrote those books there? Duncan Goes to the Fair? I have to, there are two students of mine. And one's based on, uh, uh, they're both, we used to have an event in Chatham called the Fair at the Forks. And um, we, we created two characters. One's based on his, his father, and that's Duncan. And he was a drummer. And then Cynthia was his, the, world, the girl he married in real, in not real life, but in, uh, in, in, in when, when he was, he t plays Duncan McGregor, and he, played, he married Cynthia McGregor in the 1800s. So we had them as a, a, a young boy and a young girl going to the fair. Okay. Now, where are these books available to buy? Oh, well, fr from me, we used to give, we gave them to old teachers when, when we first had them, when we had the, uh, the fair at the forks. Uh, and we had a big education day, and we gave them to all the teachers. But I still have some left that I, that I sell at events. Or, or they could contact me and get them. These are the wooden trapeze, and you um, you can just, if you squeeze this, then they go around, but it depends how much force you put on it. But you have to put quite a bit, and then they'll just go around.
Can you trapeze like that? No. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. And we have a called a jimmy stick. And this is it's just a piece of wood shape and and it can balance like this. Because as long as it's a perfect balance on either side, you can balance anything. And just hold it on the tip of your fingers. That's awesome. Um, I see two little sticks here. What, what are these for? Oh, this is a whimmy diddle. A gay and a very old toy. And if you go like this, you can make it spin that way. Or go on the other side and make it spin the other way. And so this was a very popular toy in the early 1800s. And they just loved doing that. And it's called, a, the ma well, we call it the Magic Wimmy Diddle, but it was called the Wimmy Diddle. This is a school bus. So you would be holding this and you have all your letters, your sounds, your capital letters, and you have your numbers up to, up to 10. And then you have some words. So they figured if in the early days of school, if you knew these things, if you could have the Lord's Prayer and, and could write in big letters and small letters and count to 10, you could graduate from elementary school. They figured you knew everything that there was to know or to get through life anyways. That's really cool. One more thing before we go. I'm very curious about these whistles here. Yeah. These are called bird warblers. Yep. So you have to put water in them to work. And then, but if you don't have water in them, they make a really bad sound. But this is what they sound like if you have water in them. <laughs> sound just like a bird. And birds think they're birds. <laughs> yeah. Shoot it. All right. You ready? Yeah. Oh, not quite. So what's at stake here? What do you usually bet on? Um, I'm Harrison and I'm from Chatham. I'm Jim Gilbert, I'm from Chatham.